Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while, I have not already. What are you waiting for? Drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just you know just give you an uplift and what you truly need at the time please give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated sending so much love light elevation calmness enlightenment you know clarity towards your way whatever you're needing to further down your path of purpose you know keep going keep being determined i said determined determined and motivated i don't know if you put two words together god forgive me help me jesus okay and you know send so much love your way to get help you get through your seconds minutes days hours whatever you know keep you moving stay consistent anybody who's coming in with nefarious low vibes is trying to seek distract destroy or disconnect and if it's not otherworldly and god's vibe everything else is protected essence signature and all that so uh sending love and blessing and healing is your way and the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ogas, all the devil can do is make your testimony greater. Okay, shut your mouth and keep talking. It'll be, it's, it's really true. You know, we go through constant uh, struggles. You know, it'll be different times. You be like asking God, where were you at during all this and this and this and that? And it's just like God keeps you covered he keeps you protected but there's certain things into your life you know we have to understand and I, you've been with me for a while you hear me constantly say that you know god and the devil got hand go hand in hand but they have two different agendas on the reason why uh certain things take place into your life why certain things unfolded the way it did you know early allowing yourself to really face the darkness within your life you know and heal from it because there's light there but there's a lot of times where we had to go through the doom and gloom you were born like it was just like you know what was they doing from the um, womb you know from as you come out you are already at war and these are the different things that took place into your life where you know it, it was just no way possible you know these are the different things that's taking place into your life and it, it's just like um I remember I talked about on, on one of my other videos the other day where, you know, there's a lot of times we constantly rehearse that pain that we go through. We constantly talk about the things that really broke us, that really, you know, put us in, in a line of despair. You know, and I said, you know, uh, when 2023 came, I said, that is not going to be my story. You know, even though the different things that took place in my life, I went further past that. This is the thing that put me on the map. The most tragic thing could ever happen in my life happened. You know, but that is not the same thing I want to keep focused on. That was the thing that had to wake me up to a life that I never knew it was going to be mine. You know, different things that I had to really further myself down and, you know, really understand the depth of myself. You know, it's just like spiritual awakening. You're awakening part of the spirit that needed your acknowledgement and needed you to be able to connect in that way. But you had to go through things, get through things to get to things. You know, in those different situations that really shows you to raise the bar about yourself. Don't think you are ordinary. I put you on this earth to be extraordinary. You know, and the devil devil will sit up here and convince you nobody cares about you. Nobody loves you. You know, you won't be missed. Everybody going to see this part of you and going to judge you and this and this and that. He'll put breathe all kind of fail, doubt, and fear into your life. That's how he wants you to be. You know, he wants you to stay in resentment. He wants you to be in regret. He wants you to, you know, stay focused on how people hurt you, what they said about you and what they continue to do. And it'll be those different things in life. It's like you have the choice to choose what you choose to, you know, to accept in your life. You know, we have different choices we can choose. But we cannot make different choices about the consequences from the things that we have chosen. You know, there's a lot of times we don't make mistakes. You know, we don't did some dumb stuff. You know, we did different things that, uh, where, you know, we jumped into stuff blindly, you know, and then we end up paying for it later. And these are the different things just like this. You know, everybody makes mistakes, you know. But the thing is, he wants you to learn and live from those mistakes. These are the different things that took you, you know, through some stuff to get you to some stuff. And there's a lot of times it's like you let you open your mouth and tell your experience in life. You know, and I always tell people the beautiful thing is you don't know who needed to hear your story of experience. You never know who had to be on that path to be able to understand themselves by connecting with you. 
you know, and these are the different things that, you know, the devil breathe all kind of defeat into your life. But it's up to you. You're going to listen to that nuthead. You know, I'm like, look, <laughs> you need to step all the way back. The devil is a lie. Not today, Satan. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Bye. You know, it'll be on those diff different situations because it's so easy for us to be negative. It's so easy for us to be pessimistic. It's so easy for us to be in doubt or placing judgment on other people, being angry. Oh, they don't take much for that. But, you know, the strength is, you know, I used to be like that where I used to always focus things on things I couldn't control. Things that people did to me, you know, where I, you know, I'm mad because people are lying and doing all this different stuff to me. It really shook me to the core. But not realizing this is going to be the main thing that's going to set me free. These are the different things that I never thought I was going to be able to face. And so miraculously, I overcome. Overcome. You know, and a lot of times you're like, girl, you know, you're strong. I was like, you know, sometimes the, the strength is all I got to live by. You know, but, you know, regardless of the strength I carry, I have weak moments too. You know, personally, it's short. You know, all weakness be emotional. You know, some people feel like if you cry, you know, you're being weak. No, that's that's a beautiful blessing of being in tune with your emotions. You know, there's different things you go through. Well, I'm going to show so many far faucets here. Well, you know, there'll be different times I don't talk about some stuff. It was very uncomfortable for me to talk about. I'll be like, you know, you know, you know, you know. I'm like, if you said you know one more time, I said, I know. You know, it'll be one of those different things. I'm like, look, you know, Power Ranger dropped the armor a little bit. You know, I, I get my, you know, I'm strong as hell. No, what? I'm durable like Teflon. You know, but it'll be those times, you know, hey, you know, I'll be like Bubba, Hubba Bubba, you know, be a little bit chewy, but, you know, I'm going to get back up again. You know, these are the different things I was built like that. You know, not every day is a positive day for me, but not every day is a bad one for me either. I live and learn certain things it's hard for me to break free from, but I know I need peace in my life. You know, and the devil wants you to be in, in miscommunication with everything. God, he wants you to be sitting up here, you know, taking it personal when people start coming at you and stuff like that. Like, I ain't never did that under this and this keep on happening. Yeah, just because you good out there and guaranteed that somebody's going to sit up here and reciprocate what you're going to put out. You put love all out into situations, but that don't mean they're going to appreciate it. But these are those different things you had to be able to go through had to be able to go through there will be different times you don't been you know uh just open your you know open your heart and just give everybody love and kindness and all that and the next you know people use that kindness as weakness and it'll make you feel regretful resent you know resenting those are the different things never be ashamed or resent you having a good heart you are a blessing you know that person needed at that time you know there'll be different things you don't know you're on somebody prayer list of what they want. Somebody may have took advantage of you and didn't appreciate you here and wasn't grateful for that present. They just know there'll be a person that'll scoop you up so they're going quick. Like, wait a minute. You always been like this? Well, yeah, a little bit. But, you know, after I got in this situation, I got, you know, better. And these are the different things you went through. To where the devil will constantly put tests in your life. Just, you know, are you going to believe in what God tell you? God is lying to you. You know, these are the different things that's going in life. You're bringing all these enemies on your life to sit up here and make you suffocate. And thinking good things can never come through a blessing for you. You know, and he will breathe all that type of fear into your life. And these will be the different things where God will use the same situations that he don't put in your life to upgrade you in ways you didn't see coming. Yeah, you might have everybody on turn their back on you, but then it showed the solid truth of these people that's deserving to be in your life. These are the ones that, you know, I'm going to have a blessing for you, but I need you to see all the real deal holy fields that are in your life. These are the ones that you really got to see, and, you know, I'm about to make, show you a truth. He's like, first you'll see the truth, and then I'll piss you off. And, you know, it'll be one of those type of moments where you really had to see the darkness out of a situation where you were already in your most darkest moment. You know, it'll be different things like you really going through some stuff. It'll make you question God's presence. And it'll be these times that, you know, God got to be cruel to be kind. You know, he will put you in a line of hurt and be some kind of powerful love you didn't know you were getting at the same time. It's like, how was that supposed to love me? Because sometimes he got to break to build you up. We all built up with these illusions and lies and pretending, you know, making ourselves be something we really are not. You know, all these different things you had to do that. You really had to be able to do that. Or you're going through a vibration of being neglect. You go, got abandonment issues, neglect issues, mommy, daddy issues, you know, lonely complex, something, something heavy. You had to be able to really go through that. And it really needed you to see. 
a lot of times you have to just disconnect. You know, I used to be like that person who just have any and everybody in my life. And a lot of times I reflect like, girl, why are you hanging out with that? Why are you dealing with that? You know, and there'll be people that did not. There's a lot of people that reciprocated the love that I had for them and they gave it back. But there'll be a lot of people that use it and took advantage of that, too. I was naive, at, you know, at different times and, you know, gave people more chances than I should have. I was getting hit very comfortable with collecting red flags, you know. And it'll be those different times where it made me feel like I was somebody if I was in a relationship or maybe feel like somebody if I had a lot of friends. And it's just like you are somebody regardless, you know. I'd rather be by myself than have to worry about what kind of position am I in in your life. Are you here because you appreciate the vibe I'm, I'm projecting out. Are you here for your own personal motives or intentions or benefits? Is this benefiting you in some kind of way? You know, it be different things like this. You had to be able to go through those toxic relationships, whether it was like parental or, you know, baby mama, baby daddy, or husband, wife, or even siblings. You go through all these different things in life to where, you know, it, it can really shake you to the core. It can really put you in a downward spiral. But these are those different things. God had to probably make you go to the ground. You had to go ground zero, you know, really ground zero. And just really be able to see this is where your fate lies at. This is where your decision, you're going to really do a game changer. But I need you to really get serious with yourself, you know. Because the devil will be all, you know, like if you don't shut that book. <laughs> you know, be one of those different things. You know, you're going you know, you to go through some stuff. It will be different things where, you know, the devil will sit up here and be pushing all type of stuff on you. All these different things, like you really trying to understand where the heck is a miracle going to come in with all this stuff going around. And God's like, you need to trust me. I'm going to put you in the midst of this war, but baby, you already won. You know, when anybody who came to the purpose of being bothered by your presence, baby, you already won right there. You know, and be those different things, but it's like, I needed you to be able, I'm making an example out of you that many will love. And appreciate. There will be that person where you know we always question God's existence. We always question, is he protecting us? He's all, we always question, is he really going to do good by us like he said he is? We're going to see him bless all of these other people and let me out. And it will be just those times, you know, he's just showing you. You don't know what kind of miracle operates into these people's lives. You don't know all the, the trials and tribulations that they had faced. All the sacrifices they had. Different people that didn't believe in them. Different people that laughed at them. People, different people doubted them. Brought, brought doubt and fear all through their life. You know, and I had to make them go through that. They don't have a lot of setbacks. They don't have a lot of failures. But now this person has succeeded. And then when he went through all those different things in life, he noticed you had to be very selective. You got that. You, you have a sacred vessel, very spiritual, very beautiful, that not just everybody can be in the midst of that. Because you got a lot of stuff that are like low vibrational, you know, attachment. Well, suck your butt dry, you know. And all those good things that you have waiting for yourself because this is what you were designed to be, you know. And these are the different things you had to be able to go through where, you know, you're like, I had everybody turn their back on me. You know, many people that I supported turn their back on me with no hesitation. You would never think that. You know, I went through my spiritual awakening, you know, and just felt like I was all alone. And these are the different things that took place in my life. You know, the people I supported, you know, when I needed my back scratched, all of a sudden they were gone. But you, you had to be in those situations where they show you, you are a blessing for those people. Don't regret what you did, you know. These are situations where don't, you know, push, you know, say something bad about yourself because you're connected with different toxic relationships in every form. These are how we learn. This is how we grow. You know, you're allowing yourself to be able to understand what you're connecting with. And it's not always like that, you know, because a lot of times when we connect with people that are toxic or trauma bonding, codependency, all these different things, it's not saying that is you. But there'll be different times where they needed a vibe of you, you know, being that open love because probably didn't get nurtured, didn't get loved, they didn't have that type of stability of a vibe that you carry. This is something you were born with. There's a lot of people in this world that's just being, you know, you know, they're okay with where they're at and not trying to grow, not trying to level up. But with you, you build different. These are the different things you being used for. So we put the most worst of the worst situation into you. And we made all these hidden possibilities that was taking place in your life that you had to stumble on through forgiving, through disconnecting, being able to be selective about what you entertain, keeping boundaries up, forgiving yourself as well as forgiving other people, not taking it personal for other things that people are trying to wreak havoc against your life. You know, all these different things that take place in life, you're really trying to understand. 
you know, why does it have to be this way? Why does it have to be like this? But this is where we learn. This is the way we grow. Because when you are allowing yourself to really be the dent in the program, it's really going to really put you on the map in some kind of powerful way. And it's not like you're trying to be all this and this and that. But there's something about you that's very intriguing. It's very beautiful. And it, it, it can be complex, enigma, conundrum, all those different things where nobody can't understand it until they're at the vibe to be able to understand you. You know, be different times. We even trying to worry about how the heck do I, I can, I'm a complex, I'm a complex, you know, <laughs> you know, I sound, I'm not speaking nigga, you know, uh, enigmaism, you know, di different stuff like that. You know, you just build up off of all kind of confusion until it's meant for you to be that way. You're built up to be complex because you had to be at a certain vibe. Where you had to be at that vibe to really truly understand what is this person embodying? What is that consuming? And it's very beautiful. But there's a lot of time. Darkness, see that mess in you? Hey, I like your energy. And, and, and all of a sudden you're drained. You got headaches. You feel nauseous. You know, you all scattered and shattered. All those different things is taking place into your life. Where you're starting to put a true meaning of who you truly are. You had to go through those times of neglect. Because basically be able to say, you can make it on your own. Just because these people abandon you and neglect you, yeah, it hurts and it hurts deep. These are the people that you, they needed you at the time and you needed them. But it showed you, you have to be very selective about that. Don't sit up here and, and hurt yourself or belittle yourself because you, you use the kindness of your heart. Not everybody built with a heart like you, a mindset like you. You know, there's a lot of time people need just that. You know, you be genuine to people. And so many times, I mean, I've been there, done that. I even was at fault for that. Or you can be so genuine to people. <laughs> and as you know, you come in and there's somebody that's really encouraged you. You know, you you be thinking they plotting on you. And it'll be those people. No, I sent this person to bless you. You know, but when you you always wanted a person, a friend into your life and be like, okay, you know, um, I need a person in my life that encourages me. You know, I'm always that person that's doing this for somebody else. But I never get that type of person in it. And next thing you know, God can silence and deliver on yours type of situation. And next thing you know, hold up. I ain't used to this. You know, and you scare people. Because you're one of those genuine people that have no hidden motives. No evil intent. No, you know, no motives or anything like that. Because you've been in situations where you are becoming that person you needed back when you were a whole hot mess. You're growing. You're learning more about yourself. You're trying to learn more about the world. You know, you're being selective of what you keep your, your focus on. You're being selective about what you engage with your energy. You're growing within yourself. Even when the bad times happen, these are, it's like where you had, this is that year between last year and this year. It was an eye opener, <laughs> you know, where you know you need to keep people from family, you know, friends and associates you are really understanding like what what box am i going to put you in you know and these are different things where you're being very selective you don't have time to be on that when you on, you know you on that that grind on transforming transforming yourself being a better person because the devil will come in god will use the same situation you know instead of here and bring some roguish people in your life hellish people in your life be with those different things i need you to educate yourself on these type of people so when they come in like that, because something they come in all different disguises, because you don't heal from it, it'll be the same demon but different scenario, different different person, different face. But you you're educating yourself now. You're understanding why you had to be selective about what you talk about. All the happy things you had going into your life, you had to keep quiet on that. Because not everybody wants to sit up here and like the joy you have in within your life. They love to see you tore down, scattered, and shattered. Okay, you had to learn that. Don't breathe out the things that you, you are heading towards goals that you're proud about. These are the different things you had to go through in life where you have to keep quiet until that, that situation is right there and it can't be reversed. It can't broke, break, break. It can't, you know, nothing negative can happen to it. You had to go through these different situations where you're growing. And these are the different things where the devil, he's only making your testimony greater. You know, you got, you're in a mess and it's going to turn into a message. You know, a testimony, I mean, a test is going to come out into a testimony because there will be beautiful things you had to go through through harsh conditions. You know, I had people that, you know, just left me at different times. You know, it was like when I needed people most in the most difficult time, I had nobody but God. 
I had nobody but my spirit guides. You know, and those are the people I had. And I had to be able to keep moving forward. Even those times I had heavy in doubt, I had to make sure I stayed heavy and believed in myself. Even when I didn't even know what I was transforming, transforming to, this is a person I never knew I could be. You know, being being okay with telling people, you know, this, this is my background. It was very toxic. You know, I went through different things like this, but then, you know, I tell people, you know, I just function in pothead, you know, I was addicted to opiates, I self-harm at times, had suicidal tendencies, you know, uh, drank, you know, different stuff like that. And it, it, at that point, I had to stop cold turkey, and that shit was a miracle within itself for me. You know, different times, I have to give myself a pat on the back. Oh, stuff that will pop off in my life, and I just allow myself to scream, cry, go off, and then go on about my business. I didn't have to go back, you know, and self start self medicating. Now, there'll be different times. It's like, look how powerful you are. Remember how different times, situations like this happen. You be ready to roll up a joint, and roll up a blunt, you know, or pop a pill or, or, or something like that, just to be able to take that pain away. And you had to be able to not feed into that because you had to be raw. You had to be that person where you allowed yourself to really feel that. You had to be comfortable in your daggone uncomfortableness of the change of emotions. These are the different things that took place into your life where you cannot be sugarcoating or all these different things. We need you to really feel this. We need you to feel this so you can understand why is it so imperative that you break away from these different things into your life because this is what's holding you back they are what's holding you back what you say is what's holding you back without faith this is what's holding you back you know all these different things are showing you that because they'll move heavy in your life but God goes all out you know it'll be different things you don't see now in the world how things be popping off nowadays you know every time you turn on the news there's some you know some kind of you know map pew pew you know, type situations all over the place. You know, children unaliving other children. You know, different things where, you know, you want to be young. Oh, I'm a kid, I'm a kid, but you're doing adult stuff. You know, different stuff like this is where, you know, the world is really coming ruthless and unruly. Very cutthroat in many ways. And these are the different things we had to really go through in life. And it makes you question, like, why? I mean, you know, I be, you know, I used to be connected with my other spirit, you know, my spirit fam, and I'm like, man, why can't we make our own planet and all these these uh, chomos and these murderers and them people that want to touch folks and when no don't mean no to them, they be like, okay, not now, whatever, you know, all those different people that just they're just just a cesspool of that. Why can't we give them their own planet? You know, and us can be peace and harmony. Yeah, we won't need no, you know, no cops or anything like that. Be kind of boring, you know, in the in the in the land of the who. But hey, we be out of that. And be like, no, you gotta deal with these people too. I'm like, do we have to? You know, yeah, we do. You're going through these different things where the devil will breathe all kind of desperation, anything that that can just like destroy you. He will use like you know, sex and money and you know fame and all this other stuff yeah, I can give you this but I need you to sacrifice this and I say it ain't nothing worth my soul nothing for my power you know it's like to each your song whatever you do you do boo if you like it hell I love it but that's just not my choice I want to be able to know when I guide myself or elevate myself up it's because of my wisdom because of my talents because of the things that I've gone through I have no problem being open to be able to tell people if I can go through this and overcome it yeah it may be hard it may be heavy it's gonna be many dark moments there'll be different times when you really doubt your existence into the world you really don't see blessings coming you know, you, you when you can be transparent like that, that's what I want to be able to be seen as. I worked my butt off to get where I got. Nobody gave it to me. Nobody didn't have to, you know, pick back. I didn't have to pick back nobody's back. And then, you know, move through different things like this. I got my help when I needed it. God felt like I did. You, want, you know, I spotlighted different things that I had to talk about. You know, open myself up. Even when things were a little bit like, um, this is not what I'm proud of. But there's so many people that you are in a world always worried about judgment. It's like, how you want to judge somebody just because somebody's sitting differently than you? You and you probably do. It's like, shoot, you then you want to judge me? And I'm, I guarantee you, people be having some kind of like elephant in the room. No, they got a whole zoo. You know, people got a skeleton in the closet. Hell no, they got a whole cemetery. You don't be different stuff like that. You know, but when you know you can rise above the things that you put you in that dark moment, that you were at the bottom, you know. 
and those are the different things that take place in your life like that. You know, it, it'll be the devil be wanting to say that people are going to judge you. They're not going to like you. They ain't going to want to be around you because of this and this and that. Leave that zero where he at. Okay. There'll be different things where you are going to be open. You don't know how inspiring your situation of experience can really enlighten somebody. Because you're allowing yourself to say, I had dark moments. Yes, I had weak moments as well. You know, there'll be different times. You know, I've talked fear and doubt into my life. A lot. Different time I questioned my own life. Didn't want to even be here anymore because the pain became so great. But every day I woke up, I know God wasn't finished with me. You know, I still had a purpose somewhere. Even if I couldn't even understand it myself, I knew it was guiding me towards something. You know, be different things like that. So never, I always tell people, never be ashamed of what you went through. Because if you know that upgraded you to become a better person, you ride that badge of honor. Yeah, it used to be a setback and I, I prepared for my comeback. I used to be this, I used to be that. You know, and different things like that. Only God can judge you. You know, anybody want to keep bringing up your past on how you used to be, leave them exactly where that is in the past. You know, be on that, y'all seen the screenshot, the whole new flexes. You got somebody out here talking a whole lot of cash-ish about you out here, about the old you, while you're improving and building up the new you. That's a new flex. You think I worry about what you say about me? It ain't my business. I know how I am. I validate my own self. You know, there'll be some days I get on my own nerves. But it's just at that point, I grew to love myself. I didn't have nobody questioning me of a good person I am. You know, I have my I have my days where I come out of the box on you. <laughs> I, I've done it. But I can honestly say that. Not every day, good day is, a, you know, good. I mean, all there's good days and there's bad days. That's what I meant to say. But those are the different things that really changed me, opened my life up to a lot of things in life. And it can be hard. But, you know, I never gave up on myself. Even when I wanted to, God wouldn't allow me to. Uh, wipe your face off. I ain't finished with you yet. You know, you still got some stuff out here. I know it's hard, but I'm going to get you through this. I need you to believe in yourself like I can believe in you. And these are the different things that the devil will be in the midst. All he is is, hey, he putting you on fame street. Because there will be a lot of people he didn't want you to get in touch to. He wanted to keep you hidden. He wanted you to keep you docile because he already know. And somebody got a whiff of what you went through, what you faced, what you let go of, what you grew, what you overcome. That is going to be a truth teller for many people. You are a lot of people's cheat sheets. You you breathing some kind of promotion of an upgrade in life that can really can make a meaning of it. If somebody get a hold of your experience that you went through. That's all the devil is good for. It's making your testimony greater. You know. Be different things, you know, like I said, I'm not going to rehearse my pain. I already rehearsed that. I already had that story. This is a whole new year. My situation put me on the map of all kind of desperation shock, you know, different things that took place in my life that shook me to the core, you know. But I be at that time, I'm not breathing that type of vibration in my life anymore. I went through this, you know, I faced it bravely and all I could, even when things just did seem bleak and blind to me. Seen the most hateful situations I had to face, but I had to be able to know I got this. I'm gonna overcome that. I'm gonna be solid in my truth. I'm tell people you went through some stuff because you know I already know. I'm talking about this family stuff, you keep this in the family. If this situation where you had to break away from somebody you had who had very ac any kind of access to you, and you needed to heal from that, and you need to be able to speak, you better speak. Don't worry about all that stuff because people don't want to be able to tell tell somebody because they don't want them to know. Who that person is because you know they're trying to keep up with the Joneses they don't want people to know that they deflected like that you know they ain't perfect they got flawed you know all those different things this is something that is going to stabilize you this is going to give you peace by end up saying you know I went through this it's not like I'm seeing myself as a victim but these are the different things that I've gone through these are the different things I face these are the different things I struggle to overcome to heal with these are just the things that I didn't understand my way out and not knowing I had to go within. These are the different things that took place in my life where I had to put a whole understanding into a mess of confusions. So you already know the devil's gonna stay busy on your life because he already know God got something for you that many people gonna appreciate. So you keep on trucking, okay? So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Would love to get a post notification shot out to Sam C. Much love to you as well, Stacy and Val Kimmer. Like I say Val Kimmer, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Val, Val stole my, my bad I must be thinking about Val I don't know why I was thinking about him for it but 
you know, thanks you all for so much for all the love and support you constantly give me. It is truly, truly appreciated. You know, drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I keep on forgetting. Y'all go to my community page, my community section on my, my channel, where I just, you know, uh, I put my, um, what is it, my podcast on there. I haven't did that in a few weeks, but I need to go ahead and start back up on that again. That, and you know, I do different, you know, post it where it's, you know, giving encouragement or different things we're going through at, at, at most transform, you know, at most, you know, transition stuff, whatever is going on in atmosphere transition. Good gosh. Yeah, that too. You know, different things is going on in the world where we trying to heal. We trying to understand why stuff feels so heavy. Why are we feeling just, ugh, just, eh, whatever. But I'll put those on there too. Or even things to just give you a general reminder. You know, you're loved, you're cared for, your purpose is needed here, your presence is needed here. You know, you, you are more powerful than you think and more powerful than you give yourself credit for. You know, beautiful things like that. And also, would be a hey oak if I don't put in a lot of jokes in there too. So I put a little empath memes in there every once in a while. So I hope you have a blessed, safe week. Please be responsible and safe at everything you do. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, life frequencies. You don't know. All those things really take you a long way um take somebody a long way and just because you're doing this for other people with no kind of you know intention it's going to take you even further so god bless much love to you namaste peace shalom later